In this tutorial we're going to look at producing a flood map in an urban area. The flood map in this case is going to be created by painting individual elements within the 2D zone with a different colour blue depending on the depths of water on the surface at that particular point. This is done using the properties and themes dialog within the InfoWorks ICM GeoPlan. Do a right click to bring up the dialog. Look for the element listing 2D zone and once you've found that press the edit button on the right hand side. In this particular case we've already created an example theme. It's called Element Depth and it's based on the field 2D triangle dot sim dot depth 2D. This is the result that's produced by the InfoWorks ICM 2D engine for each element within the 2D zone. We have a, a number of options available to us but in this particular case we're going to let the software automatically calculate the range of depths available within the result set. We're going to color individual elements a different shade of blue. We are going to adjust their visibility but we could in addition to that change different uh, style items associated with lengths and other fill properties. In this case we are just using the fill color and the fill visibility. We have decided we are going to use six items in our range of themes and each of those items in this case has been fixed to a particular value starting at a depth of 2 millimeters, going up to a depth of 100 millimeters. a typical setting when looking at flow depths within roadways where the curb height will typically be just above 100 millimeters. In this particular case the shorter smaller depths are going to be in a light blue color with the deeper blue representing higher depths of water at any particular point on the model. In the fill visibility, at the moment, all depths from 2mm to 100mm are shown at full visibility. We could, if we wished, lower the visibility setting of some of the short, smaller depths such that the triangles would be painted not only a different colour blue but a brighter colour blue as we go up the scale. Our settings are immediately reflected in this banner at the top of the dialog. Once we are happy with our settings, press OK and then OK once more to remove the Properties and Themes dialog. Now we simply go up to the Replay menu and start to replay our simulation. Time will progress, shown by the bar in the top corner here, and as time goes by the sewer network fails, water is spilt to the surface and that water then flows overland across the 2D zone, travelling between roadways and as we can see between properties and into the rear gardens of the various properties within the model.